So Jennifer Lomas, and I'm a physiotherapist in private practice. I saw the mentoring program come about and I thought, oh, maybe that's something that I would really enjoy and I'll just read more into it and give it a crack and see if I like it. <laughs> If I was to have a conversation, let's say in the lunchroom, or if one of my friends asked about the mentoring program, what I would advise them is that um, it's not just a um, forced time for a certain number of minutes and a certain way that you communicate with your mentor. It can be anything from a phone call to an email to a video chat to a meetup in person. Um, so I think the variety was really nice. Um, and it's all on your terms, so how often you feel like you need support and um, if you need a bit more, you can meet more often. If you meet, need a bit less, you can meet less often. I think I just love learning more than anything as a mentee. <laughs> One day I think I'd like to be a mentor um, and I'd like to be able to give back to the program in the way that I was able to get from the program right now. Um, but as a mentee and as um, someone developing in your career, you're just growing and constantly evolving. And the more uh, physios that you have in your life with similar specialties um, in your workplace and um, expanding your networks, the more you can look at things from different perspectives. I've definitely started to find a specialty. Um, so I'm currently working on my sports physio titling now, um, and that's something that I'll continue to develop over the years. So before I started the mentoring program, um, I wasn't working in sport at all. And um, in the past year with, uh, I think just coincidentally, as well as hard work and um, you know, being in sport after COVID, obviously, uh, there's a few more things that have opened up, but I've started working from a league level to a state level, to a national level, to a world level in the past um, 16 months. So that's a huge change in my career that I wouldn't have achieved without the support of the program. I feel very fortunate and lucky and grateful to have had access to a program like this because I do think that it has definitely helped to change and shape my career moving forward. So my name is Dr. Jennifer Jones and I work in, um, I'm an educator, I'm a researcher and I'm a physiotherapist and I work at the University of Melbourne and Austin Health. I think it's so important to support our next generation of physiotherapists. I've had some excellent mentors uh, when I was um, early in my career and they had a very strong sense of contributing back to the physiotherapy community, but also progressing the profession. Um, our graduates are so bright and anything that we can do to help them transition into um, healthcare professionals, I think is, is really important and really valuable. That it is professionally outsourced to um, Art of Mentoring. So you get a lot out of being a mentor and more than I anticipated. Um, so you have the professional resources available to you. Also, so all that online learning, you know, they've written books. Um, you have a series of webinars, you're very supported. It means you have opportunity to connect with uh, people across the country because it's national. So it was, it was very professional and it gave me a lot of insight into how to run things just also professionally in your everyday um, work. Uh, like you begin with a, a confidentiality agreement and a um, almost like a contractual um, ag agreement of what uh, you'll work on with the mentor or and the mentee will work on together. And I think um, that's just so important to do that in really any role and any new relationship that you have professionally to set those um, boundaries and expectations and to do it formally like that was really good. I thought my, my mentee and myself were an excellent match. We, um, we did very well together. It would um, be very nice when you would be guiding them initially and you might explain a couple of strategies and then to hear them feedback to you about taking on those strategies and a nice reminder to yourself to do it as well.
For me personally, being a mentor, I, what I from all of those fantastic resources available to us, I uh, gave you guidance on how to be a mentor and they'd show some coaching sessions or some mentoring sessions and thinking about the structure of working towards a goal and how you're going to do that. You'll, you both get a lot out of it. In, and in terms of thinking about why it's a good reason to do it is because I think it's so important as physiotherapists that we um, contribute to our profession and we progress our profession. And, and a key part of that I see is supporting new graduates because they are, they, um, they are so bright and they're so exceptional in what they do to really help them transition and, and flourish in their career because they are our future.